I'm Michael Carrere, and this is Psych Exam Review. This video is a practice question video where I'm going to present 10 questions related to the history and approaches to psychology, and you can see how well you've learned some of this content. Now, before I get to the questions, I want to give you a few recommendations for how to use this video most effectively. The first thing is that I highly recommend you try to come up with your own answer first. So I'm going to pause briefly before I present the multiple choice options, but you may want to pause the video and spend a little more time thinking about whether you can come up with the answer on your own. Then you can look to the multiple choice answers. So this is an example of a desirable difficulty. It's harder to try to come up with your own answers first, but it's better for your learning over the long term. It's an example of retrieval practice where the information is hopefully in your mind somewhere and you're spending some time trying to find it rather than just looking to the multiple choice answers right away. I also recommend that you, re you review any incorrect answers and make sure that you understand why they're incorrect. So if there were terms in the multiple choice that you didn't fully understand or there were names that you didn't recognize, you may want to look those up. The same is true for any terms that appeared in the question that you weren't 100% confident in or anything that was mentioned in the explanation of the correct answer. So I've included some additional information in those explanations and that's because those other aspects could be in a question as well. So those extra details might help you to have a better understanding of not just the particular version of the question, but other similar versions of the question that could appear on an exam. Okay, so let's take a look at 10 practice questions for history and approaches to psychology. The view that knowledge is innate or inborn rather than acquired from experience is known as Is this empiricism, functionalism, structuralism, nativism, or monism? This is D, nativism. So this is often associated with Plato, and it's the view that our knowledge is innate, and that it's gradually revealed or rediscovered throughout our life. John felt the shape of Susie's skull and suggested that this related to her personality traits and her behavioral tendencies. John is engaging in the pseudoscientific practice of, is this dualism, structuralism, neurology, functionalism, or phrenology? This is phrenology, E. Phrenology was a practice developed by Franz Josef Gall, and he attempted to link bumps and dents in the skull to someone's personality and behavior, although this idea has since been discredited. Edward Tischner trained participants to reflect on and communicate their experience of consciousness, a process known as is this dualism? Structuralism, introspection, empiricism, or free association. This is introspection. So introspection was practiced by Titchener and it involved training people to try to describe their immediate thoughts and reactions to stimuli in order to try to study their consciousness. The idea that people are motivated by unconscious drives is most associated with this early psychologist. Is this Wilhelm Wundt, William James, Sigmund Freud, Hermann von Helmholtz, or Edward Titchener? And this is Sigmund Freud. So Freud proposed a dynamic unconscious which held thoughts, desires, and fears, which he believed would cause anxiety if they were accessible to our conscious mind. Anton specializes in helping people to manage stress in their relationships and their families. He's most likely, so is he a counseling psychologist? a psychiatrist, a clinical psychologist, an industrial organizational psychologist, 
for a behavioral neuroscientist. And in this case, Anton is most likely a counseling psychologist. And the reason is that counseling psychologists tend to work to help people to manage their personal problems and stressors in their daily lives rather than working with mental illness. Widely considered one of the fathers of psychology, he founded a lab at the University of Leipzig, which trained several early experimental psychologists. Is this Edward Titchener, William James, Sigmund Freud, Hermann von Helmholtz, or Wilhelm Wundt? This is Wilhelm Wundt. So Wundt was a pioneer in psychology. He's actually the first person to call himself a psychologist. And he founded a lab at the University of Leipzig where he trained a number of doctoral students. And these included Edward Titchener and G. Stanley Hall, who both went on to found psychology labs in other cities. A psychologist who investigates employee morale and productivity would be a... Is this an evolutionary psychologist, an industrial organizational psychologist, a social psychologist, a developmental psychologist, or a clinical psychologist? This would be an industrial organizational psychologist. So industrial organizational psychologists focus on employee behaviors and attitudes and their management. And outside the US, this is also sometimes known as occupational psychology. This early approach to psychology was heavily influenced by Charles Darwin and emphasized understanding the purpose of traits or behaviors. Is this functionalism, gestalt psychology, structuralism, behaviorism, or psychoanalysis? This is functionalism. So William James promoted a functionalist approach, which emphasized understanding the adaptive purpose of traits and behaviors. Why do we have these particular traits and behaviors? rather than trying to understand the structure of consciousness, which is what the structuralists attempted to do. Ardy studies how the presence of other people influences an individual's everyday behavior. He's most likely a clinical psychologist, developmental psychologist, social psychologist, cognitive psychologist, or neuroscientist. And in this case, Artie is most likely a social psychologist. Social psychologists investigate how other people and groups can influence individual behavior and interpersonal interactions. Joan is interested in how personality and behavior change in elderly adults. She is most likely a... Is she a behavioral psychologist? a clinical psychologist, a psychiatrist, a social psychologist, or a developmental psychologist. And Joan would most likely be a developmental psychologist. While this is mostly associated with studying children, developmental psychologists investigate changes in behavior and cognition across the entire lifespan. Okay, so I hope that you did well. I hope you were able to answer most of these questions correctly. If not, don't forget, you can look to my tutorial videos where you'll find explanations and examples for all of these concepts and all of these terms. If you still have questions, you can ask in the comments and I'll try my best to answer. But I hope you found this helpful. If so, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.